Hello, YouTube world, and check it out. Back in the home office, back in the LeapFrog shirt. Um, just got back from Amelia May's road trip here as we went up to see the Boston Red Sox play the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Um, so, of course, got me thinking. The Sox got their butts kicked. We saw them yesterday and today. Today they lost 9-1. to one. Wow. You know, that's tough. In baseball, I mean, that's tough. So I got to thinking about, you know, how you handle not winning. How do you handle, what, what do you say? How are you going to handle losing? And that, that's what happens. And we lose, right? Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. So for me, I like to handle losing by not getting angry. I take that moment, of course, to experience the frustration. But then I like to not only break it down to see what I did wrong. Because being critical is really easy. You know, it's easy to be critical. Oh, I should have done this. Oh, I should have done that. What's harder to say is, okay, what am I going to do moving forward? What adjustments am I going to make? Did I not win because I just mentally wasn't there? Was I mentally fatigued? Um, was I mentally too confident? Was I not confident enough? I didn't take a risk. Um, did I not win because I just didn't do the training? You know, I just... I didn't do it. I skipped workouts. There's always a different excuse. Um, was it nutrition or lifestyle oriented? You know, did I not win because I was out partying too much or because I was drinking way too much or I was um, just eating poorly? So then what I do is, you know, you reflect back. So you can experience that anger and frustration, but then you want to reflect back and say, okay, where did I kind of go wrong? And maybe I was even wrong in, in my expectation. My, maybe my goal of winning was too high, you know, because victories are all kinds. There's only one first place, but there's a lot of victories, whether victory is a personal record or beating a particular opponent, finishing under a certain milestone. So, so those are all different victories. But when you don't get it, sure, be disappointed. You, you, it's okay to be frustrated. And then, you know, if you want to, you look back and you analyze. You don't look at analyze to be critical. You look an, you look back and analyze to correct. Like, that's what I want to do. Okay, if I was going to do it again, what would I do different? And what's realistic that I can do different? So that's really important. So you say, well, I'll do this, this, and this, and this. And then they analyze the next race and they say the same thing. Oh, I got to do this, 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 and this. And then the next race comes, they got this, 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 and this. Now, there's a good reason to have a coach. Because a coach can come in there and say, wait a second, are you doing that? Because you keep saying you're going to do that, but you're not actually doing that. And someone to hold you accountable. And even for that, it's not just any coach. You've got to find a good coach who's going to be able to tell you not what you want to hear, but sometimes what you need to hear. Um, it, it's a hard thing to be a coach where you, you, know, you want to be able to give, give accurate advice. So it, it, advice isn't always you know, kind and cuddly and you know, way to go and cheerleading. And there's plenty of cheerleading coaches out there, tons of them. But a good coach has got to be a coach who is reflective, critical a bit, and honest. So you want to praise when, when they get something, absolutely. I mean, when you achieve something, you did a hard run or your form looks great, man, you, you blow that out of the water with, with compliments. But when something's not going right, or you know, you're just you're not getting it, or you're saying things, your goals are not your efforts aren't matching your goals, then you have to have a coach that's gonna come back and say, hey, listen, you know, this is what you're doing, this is the result. That that's going to get you know you said you wanted x but you're doing y so but anyhow all this happens to be really uh thoughts on how you handle losing so with that enjoy think a lot and i'll talk to you soon bye